This is the video that would shock the world and change it. 2004, November, the USS Nimitz Carrier Strike Group were doing what they call workups off the coast of San Diego. And as they are doing this, there are two different radar arrays that are picking up these objects over the course of several days, dropping from 80,000 feet and within about a second or less, all of a sudden being 50 feet over the water and hovering and then popping back up again. So they vector the two F-18 aircraft and they go to look at this thing. And long story short, after visually seeing this tic-tac looking object, uh, roughly about the same length of F-18 fuselage, performing in ways that we s still can't replicate, bouncing around up and down. So this is an intelligent technology. This is absolutely, and it's, re and it's re responsive and reactive. And it's not human. It's, it's not ours. Though the Nimitz Tic Tac incident had occurred back in 2004, Elizondo didn't see the video until 2009. And then in 2015, it happened again. Naval aviators attached to the USS Roosevelt recorded these two other videos during exercises off the coast of Florida. That also caught the attention of intelligence consultant and former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense, Chris Mellon. The Navy was experiencing a number of incursions into restricted airspace, and I met Lou of the Pentagon, began to, to hear about these incursions, and the more I learned, the more I realized that we had a potential disaster on our hands. The videos remained undisclosed to the public for years, and it's easy to see why. These weren't just strange objects in the sky. They conformed to what ATIP would establish as the five observables. Oh my gosh! So the five observables include instantaneous acceleration, hypersonic velocity, low observability, trans-medium travel, and anti-gravity. In essence, the ability to defy Earth's natural gravitational force without the associated technology or means to do it. The government has said that for the record, this is not our technology. You know, people always say, well, Lua, you know, these, these things are from, clearly from outer space. And I say, well, you know, let, let's, let's hold off on that. I often tell people, look, they can be from outer space, inner space, or frankly, the space in between. There's a whole reality around us. There's life in the bottom of the ocean that, that, that live and thrive, and they, they survive off chemosynthesis, not the sun. And then we have life that's, you know, deep down in the Arctic ice that's thriving, and even on the ISS space station. What do you find, though, the most plausible explanation for the intelligence that we're witnessing? I mean, these things could be just as natural as we are. They could be from the oceans. We don't know. Elizondo says ATIP also identified another pattern. In several instances, UAPs have allegedly appeared near American nuclear facilities or weapons systems. Both the Nimitz and the Roosevelt are nuclear powered. We do know that there is a very significant interest that UAP have towards our nuclear technology. A daunting thought to be sure. But Elizondo says ATIP also developed a hypothesis that the UAPs might have an Achilles heel, a vulnerability that the American military can exploit. Electromagnetic pulses of some kind could bring down these craft. Yeah, the general consensus was that these vehicles, the propulsion units, are susceptible to electromagnetic pulse, meaning they are using a technology that the electromagnetism, if they were to encounter a certain frequency of electromagnetism, would interfere with their ability to fly and maneuver. Building on that hypothesis, Elizondo says his team devised an audacious secret plan to disable and capture one of those Tic Tacs. We had proposed a, a, a honey trap to, to try to collect um, data and information on these UAP. So this was an operation known as Interloper. That is correct. So you have a nuclear-powered carrier with other nuclear-powered vessels, uh, potentially nuclear-powered submarines, which also may have potentially nuclear weapons. So the idea is to create a, a nuclear footprint that is so irresistible to these things, we would create a, a, a trap and then that trap would be sprung. But Operation Interloper never made it past the planning phase. Interloper was stymied, wasn't it? It was scrapped. It was scrapped. It was a pretty good idea. And it was approved by a lot of people and a lot of agencies. And yet, when it finally got to the top, it was stopped. It was blocked. It's almost like somebody perhaps already knew the answer. Or didn't want us 
having the answer. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.